Okay, so um, GPR, that uses high radio uh, frequency to send reflections down into the subsoil and it, and it images back to the antenna. So we use a 500 megahertz antenna for this job. Um, so that allows to see about maybe one and a half, possibly two meters, probably about one and a half, uh, but it gives really good resolution at the 500 megahertz antenna frequency. Okay, so um, we're here to do some ground penetrating radar, uh, GPR, of a Moravian cemetery behind me. We have, um, there's some fallen headstones and things like that, so they're just trying to locate where the burials would be. So we set up our grid, it's a five by five meter grid behind me, and we took our recordings every 25 centimeters. So um, we had to do some site clearance before it was all uh, pretty overgrown. So we did some uh, hand clipping and clearing and raking of the site yesterday. So we just completed our, our survey. Um, some things that can interfere with the signal, uh, depending on what the soil conditions are like, if it's uh, really stony or clay, if there's a lot of metals in the soil, um, if the, the ground itself, we got it as flat as possible, which is the reason why we did all the clearance, because we like the antenna to run as flat to the ground as possible, so there's no air. Uh, but having said that, you can see along our border, we've got some natural rock which could create airwaves as well as those two uh, antennas. So it'll be interesting to see what the data will show uh, where they are in close proximity, but it still should work, should work okay. Might be a bit of noise, but, but that should be all right. Um, yes, it's okay, so we collect everything in the field. We try not to do any interpretations while we're taking the data. Uh, we collect it in a grid formation, so we do uh, lines every 25 centimeters along our x-axis and then lines every 25 along our y and then we put them together when we get back to the office and then we have a complete picture of the grid uh, it'll show up each line will show up as a profile so imagine if you are looking into the ground as you're walking and say your target is here it sends down radio waves and it hits your target and then it goes over the top so you might see this hyperbola they call it so that's what we're looking for in the reflections. Uh, it also collects the data so we can look at it from a bird's eye view and we can go down every five centimeters. Just imagine like turning the pages of a book, slice by slice by slice. And we can also do 3D imaging. And that will be the final step though. So we try not to immediately look at that, which is hard to do. So we start with the reflection profiles and then we go from there. And that's all in post-processing, so that'll be back in the office uh, with dedicated software for that.